Hi. Hi, my name is Arun Mahapatra. I'm a product marketing manager for AUO. Uh, we're based out of Southeast Michigan, and we are here at SID Display Week 2024 uh, to showcase some of our revolutionary visual experiences. What do we see here? So what you see here is a transparent 13-inch micro LED panel. So you can kind of see it has a beautiful bezel -less design. It's extremely thin and it harnesses the power of micro LEDs to make all this happen. You is this, this mass production? Uh, it's, it's getting towards mass production for mobility industries. Uh, in a different industry, it is getting ready for mass production right now. Is there any, what's happening here? Oh, this is just for, for the display, for the demo, for, uh, for mobility solutions. Yeah, yeah, it's to help you visualize. Is this what, also micro LED? This is also micro LED and also has an integrated camera. So you can kind of see the graphics pop up right here. But um, it's yeah, there's impossible a, to see where the camera is, right? <laughs> you can kind of see if you're looking hard for it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it hides it very well. Um, it's meant for DMS applications. And uh, what do we see over there? Yeah, we can, uh, in the far back over there, that's our 60 inch transparent micro LED. Uh, so this is like a, it's a tiled application. Um, you can kind of see, you can slightly see the lines, but you can get very large size. And yeah, I'll actually walk out behind back here. And you can kind of see me right through there. 60% transparent. Yes. We, um, yeah, 60% transmittance. Um, depending on the specs, you know, that's customizable uh, and uh, much better than a lot of the other technologies that are out right now. So micro LED, because of their extremely small size, allows that to happen. And uh, what is the manufacturing technology? Uh, some of that's proprietary um, right now, but <laughs> some of it is a, co a corporate secret. Yeah. Um, but in general, um, there's there's a lot of literature out there about different uh, uh, types of manufacturing capabilities for micro LEDs, and that's one of the big challenges as we get closer to moving this to market. And what's the uh, AMLED? Oh, over here, AMLED is AUO's Active Matrix LED, so local dimming, direct backlight solutions. And as you can see, we can do a lot with that too. So this is a blended display where you get this wood, uh, very clean aesthetic with uh, LCD technology uh, available to you. So any information displays that you want to blend into a dashboard, for example, uh, you can get a beautiful effect with this. Um, and then over here uh, on the left, this is the active privacy. Uh, and so it's switchable where basically, depending on your viewing angle, uh, you can actually turn it on and off. I'll see if we can uh, get someone over here to flip that switch. But basically, depending on the viewing angle. But um, I see it's off on this angle. Yeah, is it right off here? on that angle? There you go. Okay, so it's on, yeah. yeah. So uh, we can control where that zone is, how big it is. And also we can integrate that with a camera, for example, track eyes. And as, if a driver is looking over, it'll switch off so he can't see it. But a passenger can enjoy entertainment, gaming, whatever you need. Nice. Uh, here's some power saving solutions. Yes, so this is uh, part of our sustainability solutions. So this one's super low power for notebooks. And as you can see, it's got a like a current meter, uh, or sorry, a, a power meter right there um, to kind of highlight how little this is using. Um, it's about a 45% reduction uh, versus similar uh, applications with this technology. Um, is it better for the eyes also? It can be, yeah, the brightness is very much, and the color contrast ratio, very much customizable. Um, and uh, we can add different coatings, we can add reflectionless technology, um, depending on the customer need. Do you add transflective uh, so you can use the, the light around to enhance the brightness? So uh, That's similar to what you see over here on the left, the yeah. colosteric display. Uh, which also very low power consumption, you can see down there. When the image isn't moving, power consumption drops to zero. Uh, so it's a reflective technology, so as the sunlight gets brighter, for example, the display will also get brighter. Uh, so it doesn't seem like a very bright display right now, but it's very, very applicable to outdoors, uh, differing environments, and if you're out in like a remote area, like a transportation setting, it uses very low power uh, to make it all happen. Nice, uh, are there millions of these shipped <laughs> uh, I don't know, How, know what's the, exact the mass numbers, production, but it is yeah, it is a mature, semi-mature technology right now. So, uh, lots to lots to get excited about for that one. Nice. Yeah. And if we move back, yeah, over we'll here. go back around front. There's a few more micro LED solutions that we have here. Um, and so we have uh, the first one on the left. This is like a three-dimensional, so it's two layers. Uh, we have micro LEDs in front, and then a traditional LCD behind it. I mean, you kind of see it gives you a really cool 3D effect for entertainment, for casinos, uh, for in this application. Um, and it's great, great performance across viewing angles. Uh, you left, right side, up, down, um, and a very nice uh, effect for the consumer. Nice. And what do we see here? Yeah, and then on the far right, uh, sorry, Joshua. <laughs> far right, this is another transparent display, tiled as well. Um, you could say it's for a retail application. 
um, but here we get 60% transmittance again, um, and it's also touch uh, capable. So if you want a touch screen with the transparency, we can do that. So we've got mobility, things over here, uh, fully touch on the entire surface area, plus the 60% transparency. So really cool technologies, lots of stuff you can do with that. Is coming to the robotaxis? Uh, maybe. We're, uh, we're, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Good ideas, yeah. Nice. Any ideas that uh, people have, you know, we're, we're open to talking about it and figuring out where to, uh, where to nice. put our technology. And here's something. People uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a little tougher there. to get over here, but a um, few more micro LED applications. Uh, so we have a uh, full, uh, foldable micro LED over here uh, that gets down pretty tight up to four millimeters in radius, uh, but you also get breathtaking displays. It's flexible. It's again one of the advantages of the technology. Can you um, fold it right here? Uh, or can, we, can we move it a little bit? Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't want to break the. Demo. Yeah, yeah. We're, it's it's a uh, very fragile there, right now, but it is it is movable. Yeah, it is a unique prototype that we're trying not to yeah, yeah. exercise too much. But so it's it coming to be foldable. Yeah, and consumer how, electronics. How does it compare first. with the foldable OLED? Usually, with micro LEDs, we can get down smaller radius uh, while not sacrificing the image quality. We can uh, kind of do a little more things. It gives the manufacturer a lot more flexibility. Is this that potentially have longer lifespan? Um, we're looking at it probably. Checking that out, right? <laughs> We're checking that out, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't want to make any comments for sure, but yeah, yeah I can look into that. And, and here we have a large micro Yeah, this LED. one is a worldwide, the biggest uh, LCPS micro LED panel. Um, so you saw in a couple of the other L, uh, micro LEDs, it's kind of tiled together. This one is one single piece. Um, and that's one of the challenges as we go towards industrialization is getting, getting the size big enough. Um, and so you can see here, we haven't tiled, it's just one single piece, and we're getting ready for, for true applications of micro LEDs. So it's uh, 31 inch? 31 inches. And yeah. uh, pretty high resolution? It looks yeah. high. Yeah, yeah, it's about, uh, yeah, the, the resolution HD? isn't the, the key here. We can definitely do higher resolution. Um, but as you can see here, the focus is more on just getting that panel size up. And you can see we've done it without increasing the bezel size, uh, not sacrificing on picture quality. So. So where is your office? Uh, our U.S. headquarters is in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Our corporate headquarters is in Shinju, Taiwan. And so we've got global team members here kind of helping customers from all over the world try to figure out what their uh, project needs. So do you work on cool projects out of the U.S. office? We do, we do. A lot of our U.S. work is uh, uh, based in mobility. So we work with uh, auto manufacturers, mobility manufacturers to get them you know, all the information the customers they need. We also have segments in Irvine, some people in Boston. We do anything with a digital screen, AVO does it. So, so. Have anybody making a robot taxi right now should just call you up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or some, some other? Or come visit us at our booth or yeah, just reach How out to us How about any CHLCD projects in the CH, US? Yeah, any exterior displays, information displays and retail solutions, AUO does it. So. And we, we saw the whole booth? Yes, we, we saw did. Everything. Yeah. That's we everything in our tour. booth this year. All right. Uh, so this is just uh, just started, so it's going to be a busy display week. It's going to be a really busy display week. I think we're very early in it, but we expect thousands of visitors. It's going to be a good week. Tiring, but good week.